you're in that vulnerable state, you're not always as skeptical as you necessarily should be. So I do think that, that people could easily be susceptible to this. A warning tonight that a popular type of adoption is exposing generous families to people with bad intentions. Identified ado adoption is when a family looking to adopt a baby and a birth mom find each other on their own, often through social media. That type of adoption is becoming a lot more common, and Facebook is helping to connect them. However, it's also allowing scammers to pose as an expecting mother and take advantage of those with a big heart. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Nicole Johnson met a family who was targeted and has their story. Llama, llama, red pajama listens quiet for his mama. Shh. Once upon a time, adoption was something families weren't exactly open about. Little llama, don't you know? Mama Llama loves you so. However, that narrative is being down. rewritten by families <laughs> like the Andersons. Feels alone without his mama. Kim and Brandon mama love telling their person. story and hundreds of people like following along with the online version. Almost two years ago, they adopted Kinsley. After finding the birth mom on Facebook, through their adoption page. But the process wasn't as picture perfect as it seems. It's a scary process choosing adoption. I mean, it was something that we never had planned for ourselves. And so when we chose it, um, one of the things again that they said is, you know, do your own outreach. You'd be surprised what birth mothers um, will find in you. And so we just put ourselves out there and we're generally private people. And so putting ourselves out there was really difficult. Kinsley's birth mom wasn't the first to appear in their inbox. It was a young, attractive woman, um, probably in her early 20s, that started messaging us. They talked for hours, exchanged pictures, and soon asked Brandon and Kim to be the adoptive parents. We entertained the idea because what other choice did we have, really? Um, if we didn't entertain it, we might be losing out on, you know, potentially expanding our family. Thankfully, Brandon noticed something was off with the ultrasound picture. This is the one she sent us, and this is from the Google search. So I found the same exact picture. I mean, you can tell that it was the same thing. When you sent that, it was like, well, that's obviously not your picture. This is a picture from, you know, 2009 on YouTube. So they did a bit more digging. She was actually impersonating somebody else wow. using her name and picture. And so I found that and it didn't match up with the story that she was giving us. And so, um, so I confronted her about it and then it was, you know, quickly, I'm sorry, I just need somebody to talk to, I'll never do this again. And then the Facebook account was gone. The Andersons didn't lose any money, just time, but they learned a valuable lesson to have an open but cautious heart. What they're exploiting is your hope and, you know, your potential for love. And that's what makes it so difficult. Because, yeah, you have, to, you have to trust somebody, and so they're exploiting your weakness to try to get something out of you. While using social media comes with risk, they had to take that risk, or else they wouldn't have found their daughter, Kinsley. We're so grateful to her birth family and to her birth mother for reaching out to us on that same Facebook page a few months later. And soon... Go by scooter, go by skis. They're going to take that risk again. Stop, dog, stop, the light is red. To give Kinsley a brother or sister and a storybook ending. In Fargo, Nicole Johnson, Valley News Live. A local adoption agency tells us in the state of North Dakota, families are required to go through an adoption agency even if they find the birth mother on their own. Oftentimes, agencies will be able to confirm the mom's identity and that she is actually pregnant before they begin to financially support her. The money families give to birth moms isn't refundable, even if the mom decides at that last moment to keep her baby.